Hey survivors, in this video I'm going to be talking about how and why the Narcissus will steal from you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal links in the video description. If you are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can email me at narcsofacoaching at gmail.com. The narcissist will steal from you. Whether it's money or material possessions, the narcissist will take any opportunity they get to steal from you. Especially if they believe that they won't get caught. They have no morals or values. They understand the difference between right and wrong, but they don't care. They are very similar to young children. They believe that everyone is meant to serve them. No one's wants, needs or desires matter more than theirs. They don't even acknowledge your wants, needs or desires. They expect yours to be the same as theirs. If they're not, they will feel as though there is something wrong with you. Like a child, they believe that their wants, needs or desires should be the priority in any situation. The narcissist does not experience any separation between themselves and other people. They believe that we are all together and meshed as one. But while they may believe that it is okay to steal from you, they believe it is wrong for you to steal from them. They have double standards. It is a code or standard which favours them over you. They don't even see you as a human being. They see you as an object. An object that exists to serve them and cater to their needs. They are self-absorbed and lack empathy, so they are not going to care about the effects of stealing from you. Some narcissists may even get off on the pain or emotional distress that this may cause you. If you discover that they have stolen from you and you do not react, they will feel dissatisfied. They might try to push or provoke you to get the reaction that they were looking for. If they still don't get the reaction they want, it may even cause a narcissistic injury. They want what they want, when they want it. And if you can't submit to them and give them what they are looking for, they will get mad. They will shout and scream or have a temper tantrum because in their minds, they believe that you exist to serve them. The narcissist may create a false image of being against stealing. Or when they say that they are against stealing, they are only thinking about if someone were to steal from them. If they wanted to steal from someone else, it's a different story. In their minds, they believe that they are the exception to any rules or laws. 
It doesn't apply to them. They can do whatever they want. But if you were to steal from them, in their minds you are evil and you deserve to be punished. Narcissists do not have any real morals or values. They just pretend to have them because they know that it would be socially unacceptable if they didn't. It's like in the love bombing phase when they mirror you or appeal to your own ideals. They are telling you what you want to hear, showing you what you want to see, but they're not really about any of that. They're not about anything. They just pick and choose whatever will benefit them in that moment. It all revolves around getting them what they want. I have had a lot of personal experience with money and material possessions being stolen from me. When I was 19, I inherited £10,000 from a neighbour who passed away. My father told me to give the money to him and claimed that he was going to invest it in a building society. I never saw the money again. When I was 22, I had an operation on my mouth following an injury. I then claimed £2,300. Again, my father took the money and I never saw it again. I was forced to go to university when I was 19 to study business, which was what my father wanted me to study. I assumed that he would be taking care of the fees. He didn't turn up to the graduation. Now I am 30 years old and it is only recently that I have received a letter with a fees due of over £10,000, including the interest from the last 11 years. Recently, two gang stalkers stole £7,000 in cash from me. This was in a busy area opposite the main road on a sunny day, outside a museum and by the letter centre. The money was earned from ad revenue on this channel and also from clients who have purchased coaching sessions from me. I'm sure that the gang stalkers were fully aware of where the money came from. I contacted the police who claimed that most of the surveillance cameras there were not working. They said that the cameras that were working couldn't identify who stole the money because the people looked too small on the CCTV footage. Naturally, I found this hard to believe as the two gang stalkers were the only people near me during that moment. The man that stole the money was also wearing a bright red t-shirt. Police often work with gang stalkers and act as a form of protection for them when they do their targeting. These are just a few of many incidents where narcissists have stolen money or material possessions from me. I believe that anyone who steals will be narcissistic at the very least. They are very envious people. They want to take away anything that triggers them to reflect on their own inad inadequacy.
One of the main reasons these narcissists are even around you is to sabotage your efforts and destroy everything that you have built. They know that if they do not intervene, you would have the capacity to, to develop or establish something of value. They often know your potential better than you do. They act like they are better than you. But if that was true, why would they ever need to steal anything from you? They are giving you a handicap. They are giving you circumstances to make your progress or success difficult. The reason for this is because they believe you have an unfair advantage. If they did not place this handicap on you, you would be free to achieve and obtain as much as you want. And that would pose a serious threat to them and how they see themselves. They already believe that you have this unfair advantage, whether it's looks, personality or money. This is where their desire or motive to control you comes from. They know that you can achieve and obtain whatever you want. But they don't want you to do that. This is why they become so paranoid and hypervigilant. Because you pose a serious threat to them and how they see themselves. If they remove this handicap, and let you freely live your life and do whatever you want without them. They are going to feel inferior to you. That's where this desire or motive comes from. To constantly watch you and ensure that you do not achieve or obtain anything. Which may trigger them to reflect on how worthless and insignificant they feel. They are trying to manage or control your progress or success. In their minds you have an unfair advantage. They are stealing from you as a way of managing or controlling this unfair advantage which you possess. They believe that it is unfair it's not so easy for them, but it looks like it's easy for you. It makes them feel incapable or as though they are not good enough. So they have to limit or restrict you. They have to place this handicap on you to manage or control what they believe to be an unfair advantage. It's unfair to them because in their minds, the world revolves around them and the world should serve them. Anyone who appears to be achieving or obtaining more than them, whether it's through hard work or a God-given gift, needs to be limited or restricted. Their ability to achieve or obtain needs to be capped or completely taken away. Because it's unfair to the people around them who feel incapable or as though they are not good enough. When they are around you, they feel inadequate. They feel as though they are lacking the quality or quantity required, or that they are insufficient for a purpose. They feel as though they are not enough. They observe you and believe that you do have the quality or quantity required. They believe that you are sufficient for a purpose. They believe that you are enough and you have more than enough. Their feelings of inadequacy then allow them to experience envy and jealousy towards you. This is why they are always trying to sabotage what you're doing or trying to take something away from you. They are trying to destroy the thing 
that they are envious of. They are trying to remove whatever it is that is causing them to reflect on their feelings of inadequacy. They target a person who they perceive to be above them. They place a handicap or restrictions and limitations on them. They create circumstances to make their progress or success difficult. They then display whatever they have taken from you or whatever they produced while making your life difficult to prove that they are greater than you. From a logical standpoint, it really makes no sense. If they have to take something from someone to be greater than them, or if, if they have to restrict or limit you in some way, it suggests that they are not greater than you at all since they need to take something from you first or they need to restrict or limit you. But this is how narcissists play the game. They have to play unfairly because they expect to lose. They have to cheat, lie or steal because they have a loser's mentality. They don't believe they have the capabilities or potential to win without stealing. They steal your money or material possessions and then use them against you because they already know that without doing this they would never be able to win. They never really win how could they win when everything they do comes from their feelings of inadequacy? This is why they can never be happy or satisfied. Because they don't feel whole or complete within. They don't feel as though they are enough. They don't feel as though they have enough. You are greater than them and they know that you are greater than them. If they didn't believe that you are greater than them, why would they ever need to take something from you? Why would they ever need to sabotage what you've got going on? Why would they need to restrict or limit you? Why would they ever need to prove anything to you? They targeted you because they believe that you are something great. They believe that you are greater than them. So now they have to steal money or material possessions from you as a way of levelling the playing field. In their minds, it's unfair. They cannot compete with you at, the, uh, at your optimal level or capacity. So they have to take things away from you to bring you down to their level. It's all about managing and protecting their feelings of inferiority. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsfivercoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you soon.